Hello, I'm Special K's inner monologue. Special K tried to record without drinking coffee and had some issues. Uh, what we've got here is failure to communicate. Special K won't be joining us this week. I'll be taking over. He made a joke that was going to kill. He said, in the words of the immortal Rob Thomas, it's 3 a.m. I must be pulling summing crystals, baby. Cue the intro. Oh, that special K. Okay. He's so funny. Here he's telling you all about the coffee that he didn't drink. He should have. He's blabbing on and on and on. He's telling you all about this fantastic banner. Oh, Hex. Hex, Hex, Hex. He's fantastic. He's a marksman. He's dual faction, infernal, and piercer. He has an incredible kit. He's an incredible single target damage dealer. He has burning. He has stun. And he has the ability to do tons of damage. He really comes alive at A3. I have him at A2. And then Fersi. Fersi's brand new to the game. Fairsy has inspiration. It's not quite as good as the others, but it's better than nothing. 20% inspiration is nothing to shake a stick at. It increases healing on allies who receive AoE damage. This will be huge for the Healer Codex. And then applies AoE damage reduction to all allies in range. Starts out at 5%, books all the way up to 25% AoE damage reduction. I can't tell you how huge that's going to be in the Healer Codex. I'm sure Healer Codex has another name, but I just like calling it Healer Codex. As you can see, I have him A2. His A3 extends his ult for one second every single time he attacks a target with burning. I have him built very fast. He's 1.1 second attack interval. That means that as he's extending, he'll barely come out of his ult. Very huge. That's Boreas. I don't know why I'm circling Boreas. Boreas, Boreas, Boreas. These epics are pretty much all garbage. Titus, Titus is one of the worst champions in the game. He's 31 cost. You can't heal him. And he's really nothing more than a mediocre tank. Cyclone? Everybody hates Cyclone. Cyclone's really not that good. Theowin? Theowin is great early game, but falls off as you progress. If you were very early game, and you were pulling for hacks because you heard how great he might be, Theowin wouldn't be a bad place to start. But eventually, you will move past him. We also have a 2x. I don't know why you'd pool in the 2x. Maybe you just have A5 everybody. You're missing a whole bunch of champs. But all the ones that you do have are A5, so that's, I mean, that's the only reason. On this, Special K and I agree. We got a whole bunch of summons. We got a whole bunch of diamonds. A sip of the copy. Blah, 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 Let's go. Oh, oh, here we go. 
first temple. It's Lego. Who says content creator luck isn't a real thing? Gorza, Gonkpa, Madan, Spring, and Cerberus. I'm super excited about that, and Special K is too. That's an A1 Cerberus for us. I just talk and talk and talk, and I'm so excited. Can you see how excited I am in my eyes? I'm smiling. I'm gonna run away right now and go look. There he is. Let's awaken him. Huh? His awaken one adds slow to his ground effect area. That's fantastic. That's gonna be huge in Conqueror Codex. Which I'm sure too also has another name. But I just call it Conqueror Codex. I'm gonna make some space. Cause I'm out of space. And now I'm out of experience because I didn't plan well. Just like this video. Still got more summons though. That's a purple. One, two, three, four, five, six epics. 1,222 spiritual altar points. What a cool pull. They're all garbage, and they'll all get turned to dust, but still cool. This is where I contemplate life. That's a tax round. Now I've seen this whole video. There aren't many of those, it's incredible. There's another tax round. It's purple. Purple was a color that was reserved for the Emperor in the Roman Empire. Medan. Medan is great. Here you can hear me waxing on about how great Medan is and how easily Elowen plugged into the spots where I use Medan. She's kind of mini Elowen with no rage regen, but she dispels buffs. Ooh, I got angry eyes. I don't know what happened there. Purple once again. Sip, sip, sip. Another purple. Three rounds in a row. Right now, special case thinking, I don't think I should say anything about this run of purples. So it might end. But another one. Vortex. And Vortex. Vortex is one of the best champs in the game. I still use him everywhere. Another purple. I think that's five in a row. Selkath is garbage. Brienne, though. Brienne is one of my favorite champs in the game. I love Brienne. Brienne, Brienne, Brienne. Purple once again. There's a 10x. Boltus like crazy. Three of them at one 10 pull. Purple. Yet again. There's a Sorzus, you know what that means? Something big's coming. What am I waiting for? Once again, purple. Laurel. Laurel is a champ that I underrated for so long, but she is so fantastic at what she does. Purple once again. This is an incredible run.
Komodo. Assault. I've never used either of them. Cuke's pretty good too, though. I guess that run had to come to an end. I don't know what I was saying there. It's probably a joke about Marine. I don't have one to fill it in. She's really just a starter champ. Ah, we're back on the purple train. Up here in Boston, the purple train is the commuter rail. Tazira used to be a terrible champ. Now she's not. Tazira is a viable option for Styx Codex. Which I'm sure has another name. But I'm just going to go ahead and call it Styx Codex. And collect all of this cool stuff. And 700,000 summons already. Not me personally. I mean, I probably have, but not me personally. Oh, look. All of the way at the top. I'm teamed up against some whales this week. Won't be taking first place, but I might be top three. Hi, Silas. Let's get rid of all of those blue guys. 2100 gems. It's amazing. Oh, I almost picked my nose there. This is the behind the scenes stuff that we don't want to show you, but I'm pulling back the curtain. If he's going to be dumb enough that he forgot to make sure his mic was working before doing something like this, I'm going to make sure that you get to see all the things he doesn't want you to see. Sometimes you have to promote a champ just to clear off your weekly quests. There's nothing there, okay? Get to it. Oh, look at that. You finished Spiritual Altar as well. Got some legendary crystals. Let's get back. Let's summon some more. I said wah 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 wah. I don't know what I said there. It's a purple. Oh, it's a cyclone. Cyclone's terrible. Please, whatever you do, don't invest in cyclone. Even more purple. Brunor. Brunor's not very good. More purple. And a fantastic run of purples today. Now I'm gonna click out. And be like, man, I should be pretty close. Let's see. Here, uh, 330, 60, 90, 120, 150. 180, 190, and 190 some. You're gonna make me go full pity, I guess. Oh, creeping right up on it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that's 200, and it's tax. So we're in pity. There's one coming any day now. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Who could it possibly be? Who is it? He doesn't look very excited. He needs more coffee. Here it is. Oh, it's Hex. It's Hex. Yes, he's super excited. He gets so squinty eyed when he gets excited. But Hex is a fantastic champion with an incredible cinematic. 
Guys, I don't know if you noticed this. Let me know if I'm wrong. I think Hex kind of looks like Heath Ledger's Joker. Just a, just a throwing it out there. Does anybody else see that? Does anybody else think he looks kind of like Heath Ledger's Joker? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I'm super excited. I got my Hex. Now my Hex is A3. So what I will do is I will run right out of here. Run over to Heroes. Anytime you can get a champ on your front page awakened, it's a good thing. I think that's exactly what I said there. There's his A3. Let's take him. There we go. Zippity doo. Wow. A3. That's super cool. Now I'm just gonna randomly try to pull other shards. Chasing Fursy. I've got four of these crystals. My luck with these crystals is so bad. Cut that part out. I don't need to see you feeding your addiction. Here we go. Guess what? It's an epic. It's Komodo. Still have never used Komodo. See, here again, I think I'm, if I lip reading myself correctly, I think I said my luck on these is so bad. Dolores is absolutely incredible. Integral to the game. There's so much content that's walled off if you don't have Dolores. It shouldn't be like that, but it is. She also reminds me of a girl I used to date, which I think is something that I just said right there. But that's another story. Oh no, I said it right there. That's where I said it. Once again, it's purple. Because my luck on these is absolutely terrible. Here we go. I won't believe it. It's purple. Titus. Titus is garbage. He's such a cool character design, though. Kind of reminds me of something out of a Guillermo del Toro movie. He's got the gears. He's got the fire inside of him. Such a cool champ. It's too bad he's such trash. He's got no butt. No butt at all. This is where I think about maybe pulling, trying to get Fursy, but I'm not going to. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for me and Special King. Oh, someone got Kriya. That's too bad. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for me and Special K. If you're pulling today, I hope you get exactly what you wanted. Thanks for checking out this one. And I'll catch you on the next one.